Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will solve exercise 4a. Number 1 says 2 cube into 2 to the power 4. We can solve this type of problem in two ways. First one is what is 2 cube means? 2 cube means 2 into 2 into 2. What about 2 to the power 4? That is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can say that will be 2 to the power 7. Other way, we can solve this type of problem in that way. That is, you know, when you will see there is a base and both bases are same, then you can add the power if there is a multiplication sign. That means 2 to the power 3 plus 4 and that is 2 to the power 7. So, you can solve this problem in that way or that way. Both one are similar. Now, number 2. Number 2 says 3 cube into 3 to the power 6. 3 cube into 3 to the power 6. So, both base are same. You know, 3 to the power 6 in 3 to the power 6, this 3 is called base, this 6 is called power. That means 3 to the power 6. Now, if you see, there is the same base and there is a power and there is a multiplication sign in between them, then you can just add the power. That will be 3 to the power 3 plus 6. Your answer will be 3 to the power 9. Now number 3. Number 3 says 5 square into 5 to the power 4. See, there is a both base are same. So 5 to the power 2 plus 4 will be our answer. So 5 to the power 6. Now number 4. Number 4 says 3 into 5 square. 3 into 5 square into 3 square into 5. So now 3 into 5 square. So if I remove this bracket, then we can write 3 square into 5. Okay. Now if I make a group of similar number, then we can write 3 into 3 square into 5 square into 5. Now both base are same, so we can add the power 3 to the power 1 plus 2 into 5 to the power 2 plus 1. That means 3 to the power 1 plus 2 means 3 to the power 3. 5 to the power 2 plus 1 means 5 to the power 3. And that is the answer of number 4. Number 5. Number 5 says root over 2 to the power 10. So what is square root? Square root of some number, suppose 2. Square root of 2 means the power will be half. 2 to the power half. Square root of 3 means 3 to the power half. Square root of 5 means 5 to the power half. That means square root actually means the power will be half. So root over 2 to the power 10 means 2 to the power 10 into half. That means only power will be half. So 10 by 2 that is 5. So our answer will be 2 to the power 5. Number 6. Square root of 3 to the power 8. That means 3 to the power 8 into half. So when you divide 8 by 2, you will get 4 here. That means 3 to the power 4. And that is the answer of number 6. Now, number 7. Number 7 says 3 to the power 8 divided by 3 to the power 6. Remember, if I got 3 to the power 8 into 3 to the power 6, when we see same base, but there is a multiplication sign, then we can just add the power 8 plus 6 that means 3 to the power 14 but when we see there is a division sign division operation then we can subtract the power 3 to the power 8 minus 6 that is 3 to the power 2 that means 3 square just try to understand there is a division sign there is a multiplication sign both base are same then if there is a division sign we can subtract the power there is a multiplication sign we can at the power. So that will give you the result. If you want to understand this problem clearly, you can solve this one in that way too. 3 to the power 8 divided by 3 to the power 6 means 3 to the power 8 by 3 to the power 6. What about, what is 3 to the power 8? That is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, 3, 3 and 3. And what about 3 to the power 6? That is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now you can cut this 3, 3, 
3 by 3, 3 by 3, 3 by 3, 3 by 3, and this 3 by 3. Then you will get only there is 3 square left. 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 1. That is 3 square. Now, number 8. Number 8 says 4 to the power 7 divided by 4 to the power 7 divided by 4 cube. You know, you can solve in that way. That is 4 to the power 7 by 4 cube. That means 4 to the power uh, 7 minus 3. That is 4 to the power 4. Or you can solve in that way. That is, if there is division sign, then you can subtract the power. 4 to the power 7 minus 3. That is 4 to the power 4. Now, number 9. Number 9 says 5 to the power 10 divided by 5 to the power 5. When you see they are the same base, that means you can subtract the power 10 minus 5. That means answer will be 5 to the power 5. Now, number 10. Number 10 says 2 cube, 2 cube into 2 to the power 5 divided by 2 square. That means you can solve it in that way. That is, you know, 2 cube into 2 to the power 5 divided by 2 square. What is 2 cube? 2 cube means 2 into 2 into 2. What is 2 to the power 5? That is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. What is 2 square? 2 into 2. Now you can divide. Then you will get your answer will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 to the power 6. Or you can solve this problem in that way too. We have already know that if there is a multiplication sign between two exponents, we can add the power. If, and if there is a division sign, we can subtract the power. That means 2 to the power 3 plus 5 minus 2. That means 2 to the power 5 plus 3, that is 8 minus 2, that is 2 to the power 6. So answer will be 2 to the power 6. Now number 11. 11 says x square into x cube. That means we can, there is a both base are same. That means we can add the power. x to the power 2 plus 3. That means x to the power 5. Number 12. y, y cube into y to the power 4. You know, when there is the same base and there is a multiplication sign between two exponents, that means we can add the power. y to the power 3 plus 4, that is 7. y to the power 7 will be the answer of number 12. Number 13. z to the power 7 into z to the power 6. Same base, that means we can add the power. z to the power 7 plus 6, that means z to the power 6 plus 6, 12 plus 1, 13. Now number 14. Now number 14. 3 z to the power 4 into 4 z cube. First we have to multiply the number. That means 3 into 4 into z to the power 4 into z cube. So 3 into 4 that will be 12 into z to the power 4 into z cube. That will be z to the power 4 plus 3. So that will be 12 into z to the power 7. So 12 into z to the power 7 will be the answer of number 14. Now, number 15. 15 says, a to the power 6 divided by a square. So, you see, both base are same. That means we can subtract the power. a to the power 6 minus 2. That means a to the power 4. Now, number 16. 12 a to the power 6 divided by 4a square. That means 12 a to the power 6 divided by 4a square. Now, 12 divided by 4, that is 3 into a to the power 6 divided by a square that will be a to the power 4 or you can solve this problem in that way too 12 divided by 4 that is 3 and you can solve this problem in that way too 12 divided by 4 that is 3 and there is two exponents has same base that means a to the power 6 minus 2 that means 3 a to the power 4 now number 17 17 says b cube into b square into b so, b cube means b into b into b, b square means b into b, and b means b. That means b to the power 6. Other way, you have already know that if there is the same base, and in both exponents, there is a multiplication sign, then you can add the power. That means b to the power 3 plus 2 plus 1. That is b to the power 6. Now, number 18. 18 says b cube into b square divided by b. You know, b cube into b square means b into b into b, b into b divided by b. So if we want to cut this b by b, then we will get 
b into b into b into b that means b to the power 4 other way b cube into b square when there is exponents and between the two exponents there is a multiplication sign that means we can add the power that means b to the power 3 plus 2 and there is a division sign for the region we can subtract the power so that is b to the power 3 plus 2 5 minus 1 that is b to the power 4 now number 19 square root of b to the power 6 square root of b to the power 6 means b to the power 6 into half because we have already know that square root actually represents power as half so 6 by 2 that is 3 so b cube will be the answer of number 19 so number 20 root over 16 a square b to the power 4 this square root means 16 a square b to the power 4 to the power half this square root means power will be half that means 16 to the power half into a square into half into b to the 4 into half and what about 16 16 means 4 square 16 means 4 square so 4 to the power 2 into half into a to the power 2 into half into b to the power 4 into half now if we want to cut this one then we will get a result that is here 4 a b square 4 a b square will be the answer of number 20 now 21 3 x square y into 4 x square y square that is 3 into 4 first you have to do the multiplication of the number that means 3 into 4 that is 12 into x square into x square so x square into x square what about y into y square we have to make a group to solve this one that will be more helpful so 12 into x to the power 4 into y cube so 12 x to the power 4 y cube will be the answer now number 22 number 22 says 24 x cube y square divided by 4 x y so now that is 24 x into x into x y square means y into y divided by 4 into x into y so 24 divided by 4 that is 6 x divided by x y divided by y the answer will be 6 here is the x into x that means x square and y so 6 x square y will be the answer of number 22 24 by 4 that is 6 here both x cube and x both bases same so we can subtract the power and y square divided by y that means y to the power 2 minus 1 so here our answer will be 6 x square y that is the answer of number 22 now number 23 23 says 36 p square q to the power 4 divided by 12 p q q that means 36 into p square means p into p q to the power 4 means q into q into q into q now divided by 12 p into q cube means q into q into q 36 by 12 that is 3 now we can divide this p by p we can divide this q by q that q by q that q this q by this q so here our answer will be only 3 p q so 3 p q will be the answer of number 23 so we can solve this problem in that way too 36 by 12 that is 3 here both base are same so p square divided by p that will be p to the power 2 minus 1 q to the power 4 divided by q cube means q to the power 4 minus 3 that means you know 3 p q now 24 24 says root over 64 a to the power 6 b square you know this is 64 a to the power 6 b square to the power half because we have already know square means power will be half so 64 means 8 square 8 to the power 2 into half into a to the power 6 into half into b to the power 2 into half we can divide 6 by 2 that is 3 we can divide this 2 by 2 then our result will be 8 a cube b so 8 a cube b will be the answer of number 24 now number 25 25 says 28 x to the power 6 divided by 7 x square 28 x to the power 6 means 28 x into x into x into x into x into x divided by 7 into x into x 
Now, if we divide 28 by 7, that will give you 4. x divided by x, x divided by x. So here, your answer will be 4 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 into x to the power 4. Other way, you can solve in that way too. 28 by 7, that is 4. Here, between these two exponents has division sign. For that reason, we can just subtract the power. So that will be x to the power 6 minus 2. Now, 4 x to the power 6 minus 2 equal to 4. So we'll get similar result. Number 26. 26 says 5 a b into 3 a square b into 4 a b square. Now, first we have to make a group of number then a then b. Now, 5 into 3 into 4 make a group of number into a into a square into a make a group of a and make a group of b that means b into b into b square so now so now after solving this we will get our solution 5 4 is 20 20 into 3 that is 60 a into a square into a that is a to the power 4 b into b into b square that will give you b to the power 4 so answer will be 60 a to the power 4 b to the power 4 now 27 27 says 5 ab into 6 a square b divided by 2 a cube b that means 5 into a into b into 6 a square b means 6 into a into a into b divided by 2 a cube b 2 a cube means a into a into a here is b divide this 6 by 2 that is 3 a divided by a a divided by a and b divided by b and we can divide this a by a so here our answer will be 5 3 is 15 15b. So 15b will be our answer. Or we can solve this problem in that way too. That is, you know, 5 into 6 that is 30 by 2 that is 15. Now, here, a to the power 1 plus 2 minus 3 into b to the power 1 plus 1, b to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1. Now, that is 15. a to the power 3 minus 3 that is 0 into b to the power 2 minus 1 that is 1. So answer will be 15b. Because we have already know a to the power 0 equal to 1. Now number 28. 28 says a b whole square into a b whole cube. So a b whole square into a b whole cube means a b to the power 2 plus 3. That is a b to the power 5. And that is the answer of number 28. Number 29. Root over a to the power 6 into b square. Now a to the power 6 into b square to the power half because square root means power will be half so a to the power 6 into half into b to the power 2 into half so 6 divided by 2 that is 3 2 by 2 that is 1 so that will give you a result a cube b so answer is a cube b first one that is 30 30 says root over 25 x square y square now, square root means power will be half. Power will be half. Now, 25 means 5 square, 2 into half. X square, 2 into half. Y square, 2 into half. So, that will give you the result. 2 by 2, that is 1, so 5. 2 by 2, that is 1, so X. 2 by 2, that is 1, so Y. So, answer will be 5XY. And that is the answer of number 30. So thank you very much for watching the class. See you soon. Allah Hafiz.